All right. Good morning. Welcome to, welcome back to Hero's Kitchen. So today's lunch menu I'm cooking is uh, pasta, uh, seafood pasta in particular. For this uh, ingredient, it's very easy. Um, two pieces of garlic and um, a bunch of shrimp. I'm using um, like a what's called in Japanese uh, the, um, like a sweet shrimp. Yeah, if you don't have an access to a fresh fish market, try to get as you know fresh ingredients as possible. As always, I recommend in this channel. And also uh, mussel. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any access to fresh mussel here in Japan, so that's that. And if you have a white wine, that's great too. Also white wine and pasta. So the pasta of choice. It could be your personal preference, but for this particular seafood pasta, I would recommend to use any thickness in between 1.4 to 1.6. Anything that's uh, thicker or thinner than uh, within this range, I don't recommend that. And you also need uh, olive oil. And this could be... Uh, I recommend extra barging uh, because the smell is very really nice and you use while cooking and after you finish cooking you just pour a little bit of uh, extra barging. Alright, so I think, oh, another ingredient. Fresh octopus. This was uh, so it's really cheap, so I got it. If you don't know how the octopus, that's okay. You can always uh, substitute any of these uh, three seafoods with another seafood. I think any combination of seafood is great, uh, whether that's mussel or clams, shell. Yeah, no oysters, of course. Okay, let's get to it. So first of all, you know, I in this uh, cooking channel, efficiency is very really important because unlike other channels where they prepare uh, each ingredient really, really well uh, and clean, pristine, this channel is focused on more the realistic side, which is, you know, mamas, they don't have the time, you know, because we cook every day, right, for each meal. Well, we sometimes eat out, but uh, when you cook every day, you can't, you know, prepare all those ingredients very cute or anything like that. Of course, visually speaking, it's much pleasing to see uh, well-prepared cooking, but here in this channel, I like to focus on like daily cooking, real cooking, as opposed to those like uh, fabricated, beautified uh, cooking. Right, so let's get to it. So first of all, efficiency is a re really important while you, before you get to preparation of ingredients, um, boil the water. If your uh, region's tap water is good, then use the tap water. Otherwise, always purify the water. Any water that you use, it's safer, it tastes better. And then put a little bit of salt in it. Yeah, people might, you know, I suggest you put the salt after it started boiling but of course for the efficiency I, I put in the very beginning so that's that and also since it's frozen muscle um, 
take a few muscles. See, it's really, really frozen. Two. So I'm cooking for two people. So maybe uh, just four muscles for today. Since we have other ingredients. We're gonna wash on the surface of this muscle because it's kind of dirty, right? People might not do that. You focus on efficiency, and when you are using a non hard wood like this one, this is a ginkgo's wood um, cutboard. Uh, you always have to um, water the surface before using because uh, using when, when dried. It's just not good. Yep, here. So after putting the muscle into the water, it will become like this. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's kind of a little bit. Uh, I think muscles uh, essence is kind of dissolved. So don't put the muscles into the water too much because it will result in loss of the taste. And for the surface cleaning, use something like this. Just clean the surface just a little bit. The dart, there's uh, so much dart on the muscle su surface. Yeah. Octopus. This is uh, actually prepared octopus. So when you uh, buy a fresh octopus, you have to prepare by yourself. If I have a chance, maybe I'll do it in this channel too. But it's kind of troublesome to prepare octopus. So the, for the best efficiency, you might want to just get the well-prepared octopus. Mmm, tastes really, really good. Turn on the heat. And leave oil. Uh, olive oil itself is a really significant part of uh, sauce so try to use a little bit more than usual you, you, you do and first of all sorry about the fan noise the water started to boiling so Turn the fire uh, into a smaller fire. Put the garlic in. And maybe uh, two pieces of uh, uh, red pepper. Add a little bit of uh, spiciness. So the <clears throat> order you put the ingredients in is really, really important because that's how uh, what ingredients will get burned. So I put the shrimp in first because I want them, I want, I want them to be uh, really. Uh, Crispy, so kind of uh, fry this. Wow, that's it. Yeah, this is what happens.
it's always better to um, actually uh, unfroze the ingredients before you put it inside. But uh, since we don't have time, muscles in. So when you see um, a garlic started to turn into brown, just put all the ingredients inside. Directly. Like that. Looking really nice. So before it gets burned for the white wine, fire them and also steam them the smaller fire the smaller fire yeah this is good so now what you have to do is put the uh, spaghetti pasta this is actually called spaghetti I think I'll use that for two. And for those uh, beginner chef, uh, you always want to take a look at how many minutes you're supposed to boil. But if uh, usually the recommended um, time will not get you the al dente that you want so it's usually like um, one minute or two minutes faster than the recommended time uh, I never read any of those on the back just you know you can eat it you know for a try and then if you think it's uh, too far then you boil a little bit more and then if you think it's too soft it's already too late so always try to uh, taste uh, constantly where you can feel the hardness through like chopsticks or any kind of stick and then uh, also try to calculate uh, how hard it should be uh, before pouring into here because it's always better to um, you know uh, mix the pasta oh looks nice so black pepper fresh black pepper and um, maybe a little bit of oregano, oregano. If you don't have any of these, that's okay. A little bit of oregano. That's great. And check the pasta. And then you also want to keep the pasta soup together because it, it has uh, the flour's protein which will make the soup uh, become far like a, a little bit sticky let me check the farness mm. now it's time So now you can put the <clears throat> fresh herbs. Yeah. 
Turkish arms inside. Maybe for today I'll try to make it a little bit fancy. So this is the seafood pasta. How about it? Looks very nice. It looks really good. Yummy. Enjoy.